I discovered 15 years ago a very impressive amount of photographic documents who are called Olga Archive, my grandmother's first name and we discovered small film and thousands of photographs. Many of them are exhibited here. Well, I think if you look deeply into the early photographs, which are so impressive, the ones that he took when he first met Olga, and his relationship with Olga, his love for Olga, and those are uh, tell a whole different story from what any biographer has been able to tell. And they show how extraordinarily skilled as a photographer Picasso was, and also what love he had for Olga. Up to the wedding, I mean, they're incredibly affectionate, uh, the, the photographs, and they give us the whole hit story of their, their love and their marriage, and so on, their, of a tragic marriage. The whole story of their relationship is here. Well, I think we've dug deeply into aspects of Picasso's work which haven't been evident before. I mean, his relationship with his camera and uh, how so many of his images uh, have a, a basis in photography or uh, equally have, have enormously uh, influenced photography. It's a whole new area with Picasso's work which has opened up and I think has a sort of extra richness because it gives it another dimension. He loved his children, and he adored being with them. He got something from his children, I mean, from their view of the world, and uh, you see that reflected in his work. Well, I remember that he, he has been a fantastic grandfather, very, very sweet, very, very Latin. Uh, I think it's important to recall that it was Spanish, so family is something uh, who was very, very important for, for him. I remember this warm and this kind of uh, friendship when I was close to, uh, to him with my uh, parents. Some of the most interesting photographs are the photographs he did of his sculpture as he was working on the sculpture. And he'd take them out of the sculpture studio and put them together and try and relate them to each other, try to sort of amalgamate them into a, a sort of kiss. We thought it was a good idea to exhibit few of those objects who are very important in his art because many objects uh, you see here uh, were represented so many times in, uh, in his painting or in his drawings. The armchair and the little tabouret and, and all of that, they were sort of fetishes for Picasso. I mean, he was faithful to them. The, the, the um, little tabouret with the fringe comes in again and again in Cubist paintings. I mean, 10 years before it appears in Picasso's um, portraits of the 1920s. So we saw to, to give that direct relation with the object and, and the artwork was something important. 